Hey folks, it's Nate. Thanks for joining me as we once again look to the horizon. I'm back with the, your regularly scheduled writing vlog, and I have good news for you because I made it to page 75. We are on schedule, and the story is shaping up well. We are about to go into the climax of the story. And now that I'm to page 75, I think that I will be able to finish by about page 110. That is how things seem to be developing. We may run all the way up to page 120, but we are not going to get all the way to page 150, which I was slightly concerned we might. That would be a little bit longer than I wanted the total story to be. So at 120 pages, I'm thinking we are going to get to about 30,000 words. If you get any longer than that, you are almost better off going back and padding a story out to novel length. Don't, I don't like that term, but there are certain lengths of stories that are more ideal for the reader. And I think I could definitely add some more character beats to this story and explore some of the side characters a little bit more if I wanted the story to be longer. But I think we're going to hit that 30,000 word mark almost exactly. And we're not going to have to worry too much about the story being better off as a novel. So I'm, I'm really glad about that. I also like the way the, the story is progressing. I think some of the character moments are quite good, uh, if I do say so myself. Um, obviously, I'm going to want other people to have a look at this before I really settle on whether I'm happy with where it's at or not. But I think this is probably the strongest novella-length story I've ever written, and maybe one of the strongest stories I have written, period. Uh, so I'm feeling very good about it for right now. Obviously, I have to get to the end. I have to go back and I have to do my editing pass and see how much I like that. However, I think I have managed to avoid writing something that I am going to feel generally eh about when I make my editing pass. And while I haven't written anything like that in a while, um, it is always something that weighs on my mind. I do want to be fairly satisfied with what I write by the time I go back to edit it. And that is, you know, that's something important to keep in mind. If you start doing your first editing pass on a, a work you've done and you just sort of go, eh, it might be worthwhile to start over again, maybe do something else and come back to that fresh later. You may not have executed on your story concept very well, and you do want to avoid sending good money after bad. Uh, that's just something to think about. And there's a, a saying in the creative, specifically the engineering uh, sector, that is fail faster. You want to do your thing, see if it works, and then if it doesn't, ditch it and start over again as fast as possible. And if you can't do that, you are going to waste a lot of time trying to salvage concepts that, or work that is not as good as it really needs to be. I haven't had to do that in a while, and I definitely don't think I'm going to have to do it with Burning Bright, which is very encouraging. I do like that. Um, I have scrapped stories, projects in the past. It always feels bad, but you have to do it when you know you're working on something that just isn't up to snuff. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I'm not there. Uh, hopefully, I will never have to do that again in my career. But hey, I know authors who have sold uh, novels and screenplays and all kinds of other stuff who have had to do it. So I, I really don't think I'm out of the woods on that count, so to speak. In addition to making good progress on Burning Bright, I am working a little bit more on Everybody Wants to Laugh. I've gone back to the world building there. I started to work on an outline. Uh, I have done some research. And by that, I mean, I've been researching um, important um, story concepts, not so much on the technological front, but on um, the thematic front, which I really want to work in and integrate very well. So I've been looking at that. Uh, and I have probably the first third of the outline down on paper. Doing pretty good, I think, on that front. And I am looking forward to finishing that up and cranking it out very quickly. It's a comic script as opposed to a novella or a novel. So it's gonna be pretty light and fluffy compared to this kind of a writing. I hope to really uh, knock that out in two, maybe three weeks time once I finish this up. 
Speaking of which, uh, Memorial Day weekend is this weekend. As I am recording this, it is the s- Sunday before, mem- uh, not Memorial Day, pff, Labor Day. It is the Sunday before Labor Day. I hope to put a little extra time into this over Labor Day. So I hope to be up to page 90 come next week. And if I can get to page 90 or maybe even page 95, I don't want to I don't want to set that as a goal, but it's possible if things go really well tomorrow, I could get to page 95. Then I think that I can have this project done by the end of September and be ready to dive into the next thing right away. Now, I do plan to wrap up Night Train to Hardwick and then write some essays. And I don't know if I'm actually going to publish Burning Bright on my blog or not. I'm still up in the air about that. But I may make this my first um, direct-to-sale novella. And I do plan to do um, some sales on my novels and novellas at some point in the future. But I would like to try... Uh, doing one that's not seen by the public before I offer it for sale, just to have uh, something to compare to and see how well that does. Um, And I know that there are some people who watch these on a regular basis, and also there are a lot of people who read my blog on a regular basis who I might be able to convince to buy a story from me sight unseen. Fingers crossed. Anyways, so I want to try and knock this out by the end of September and then put it in front of test readers and an editor in October, and hopefully have a finished project to offer for sale in time for Christmas. And uh, I'm also going to need a contract cover art, which is one thing that I am a little unclear what I want to do about. I know some people who do that kind of thing. It is kind of expensive, but I do have some money set aside that I could spend on that. Um, And yeah, it's a... It's an issue to think about. In the meantime, I think that I am in the process of finishing up a really good story, and I hope to get it knocked out by the end of the month. So, fingers crossed, no life disasters come up, nothing like that. I hope to have all of that done and start talking about uh, further projects as we go along. I'm starting to think a little bit about the storyline for Fire and Gold, which is going to be the next Roy Harper adventure. I still need to start recording those. You will see them on this channel eventually. I don't know if it's going to be this week or next week, or I may just wait until the story is done with the afterword written and then start recording them. That was what I originally intended to do with Fire Spinner, and the workload is a little bit lighter that way anyways. So those are some of my plans for the future. Um, This week, though, this week, The big goal, finish Burning Bright and get ready to start seriously writing Everyone Wants to Laugh once we're done with that. And uh, that's all I've got for you this week. Not a whole lot has changed. Uh, We are just plugging away going forward, and I hope to continue to bring you good news on that front next week. There's a like button and a subscribe button you can use as you see fit. If further project updates interest you, I'll talk to you later.